I'm Elaine Watson with AgFunder News, and I'm joined here today by Beth Zotter, who is co-founder at Umaro Foods. So give me your 60-second elevator pitch. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Elaine. So we are making a delicious and crispy fatty bacon that delivers on flavor and texture by using seaweed compounds in several innovative ways. So we are using seaweed to both create a really great uh, bacon fat texture. And we're also the first and only company in the world to extract protein from ocean farm seaweeds. So on one side, we have a fat innovation that we're developing and that we're currently using in our plant-based bacon. Mm -hmm. And we also have a protein innovation that is a functional equivalent to heme. So we make a red protein that behaves just like heme, um, but at a fraction of the cost and non-GMO. Okay, because, you know, two of the challenges that seem to be facing companies in the plant-based meat sector at the moment is, you know, the products are twice the price and they're half as good. <laughs> um, you know, how are you addressing both of those issues? I mean, you talked sure. about Sure. So, so one of the different key differentiations about our product is, our, is actually our manufacturing process. Yeah. We have a really capital efficient process. So one of the things that makes a lot of the products out there right now very expensive is that they use uh, techniques either like extrusion yes. Or they're using some sort of fermentation technology, which Expensive. both require large capital investments. Yeah. So we have a formula, now patented formula, and mm -hmm. a manufacturing process that allows mm -hmm. us to have low capital costs and high throughput. So that allows us to be cost competitive mm -hmm. and we'll actually be able to beat the cost of pork bacon very quickly um, because we have that high throughput, low capex manufacturing mm -hmm. process. And what about the taste and nutritional you know, profile. Yeah. So the reason bacon is, mm. is so delicious and so, uh, I'd say addictive, um, is really because it's got a lot of fat and mm. fat is actually where a flavor molecule is attached to. And so mm. that's not surprising. And so what we've done is we've actually discovered a really innovative way to use the, the gels in seaweed to hold on to very high amounts of plant-based fat, actually to the point where the only other solid food product with higher fat content than our bacon fat is actually bacon fat uh, or lard. And so that allows us to deliver that sensory experience that you, you get with bacon, which is really um, makes it so craveable. So tell me a bit about the progress that you've made to date. You know, when did you launch and how widely available are the products? Sure. So we launched uh, in summer of 2022. So just less than a year ago um, in three restaurants. And we're now in about 100 restaurants across the country. Um, we've got a bunch in New York City, so anyone in New York City should be able to find one within a few blocks. So what about the supply chain? Where are you getting the seaweed from? Yeah, so great question. So we actually have two manufacturing processes where we manufacture our protein separately in a facility that uh, manufactures other proteins. Um, and then we send that protein powder, essentially, to our bacon manufacturing facility where we use it like other dry ingredients um, to blend and create the, the, the meat part of our bacon. Okay, so tell me a bit about, you know, the biggest challenges that you face um, as a founder. Has it been raising money? Has it, you know, what keeps you awake at night? Oh, man. Especially um, this week, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, right now we're in, um, there's not a lot of availabil availability of capital. Mm. Um, we, we need that to expand and grow. Um, but because we have a profitable product um, and a strong sales record so far, um, I'm confident we'll make it out the other side. But yeah, right now fundraising is the is the key, uh, the key challenge. So, so it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a challenging kind of 12 to 18 months, especially for investments in alternative protein. Um, you know, how do you see the next kind of 12 to 18 months shaking out? Yeah, well, I think uh, shaking out is a good uh, word to describe yeah. it because I think there's a lot of players in the space right now. Um, and there's a, a strong uh, spectrum in terms of quality and price. And I think what we're going to see is it's, it's tough right now because there's a lot of um, competitors in the market. But I think the positive side of this is that the strongest um, performers will emerge uh, even stronger. And I'm, I'm confident that we'll be one of them.